Russell Mad Dog Cox, a violent gunman, armed robber, prison escapologist, and Australia's most wanted man for 11 years. I'm Tara Moss, and this is Tough Nuts, Australia's Hardest Criminals. Tonight, we examine the life of Russell Cox, a highly intelligent, supremely skilled, violent criminal. Through dramatized scenes, first-hand accounts, and psychological analysis, we will follow his life from bike thief at age nine to Australia's most wanted man. Plenty of good crooks in this country would consider Russell Cox to be the greatest bank robber this country's ever seen. Russell Cox, he's a bloody good bloke. He's a real Australian, last of the, the true bank robbers. He'd be the Banjo Punk Patterson and Henry Lawson of bank robbers. That was the best fun I've ever had. He certainly wouldn't hesitate to use violence. I mean, his record clearly shows that. I mean, he shot a man. I said, keep still! He had this reputation. He was an extremely active and violent criminal. He had to be quarantined from the community. He was mad. Russell Cox was an armed hold-up man and escape artist who terrorized Australia during the 1970s and 80s. He was known in criminal circles for having a cool head, but he wasn't above using guns in his crimes. He became most famous for his escapes from custody and his chameleon-like ability to change his appearance while on the run. He lived his life like a military commando, keeping fit by running 15 kilometers a day with a concealed gun. He kept his hideouts filled with heavy heavy military-style weapons, bulletproof vests, disguises, and gas masks. His companion, while he was Australia's most wanted man, was the love of his life, Helen Dean, a nurse. Her skills came in handy. She is believed to have saved his life after he was shot in the thigh in a gun battle. When Cox escaped Katingle, he was serving life for the attempted murder of a prison officer from an earlier escape attempt. The police expected to have him in custody in just a few days, but in fact, he wouldn't be caught for 11 years. Russell Cox is the first prisoner ever to escape from Katingle, the new maximum security section here at Long Bay Jail. He's also regarded by police as potentially the most dangerous prisoner ever to escape. In an interview for ABC TV in 2005, the Commissioner of New South Wales Corrective Services, Ron Woodham, showed just how Cox made his escape. Russell Cox smuggled a small piece of hacksaw blade in in a belt when he was out on escort. At court he was given the belt and he swapped belts. He'd climbed up the, the grill work there and do chin-ups on the bars and the roof. Just take the blade out for a, a couple of saw cuts every day, put it back and just, just exercise. I've got to give him credit because he was able to climb up, hang on by one arm, saw with the other and do a little bit of sawing each day, cover up his work and then um, go back into the, the rest of the, where the, he's selling a tingle. They all had separate cells. And then, as I said, when, when he finally got that bar cut through, he was able to escape. Once onto the roof, um, Cox is scarpered over that, jumps over the edge of the concrete bunker, runs a short distance to a, a wire fence, about four metres again, scales that, runs another short distance, jumps across a, scales another four metre fence, jumps down there, all the time knowing that the officers within Katingle could not get out in time to catch him. And then he's had a couple of hundred metres to run to the perimeter, the brick perimeter wall around Long Bay over that, and then he's off. Another key to Cox's escape was his lifelong dedication to staying in peak physical condition. 
throughout his criminal career, uh, the, the steady information that we always received was that he was an absolute fitness fanatic. Every evening, Cox would run the length of one of his landings back and forwards, in part, one would assume, to get himself um, fit or fitter, but also with this escape plan in mind. He then uh, worked himself towards this very high level of fitness. It says uh, a lot about his determination and, begrudgingly, I'd have to say, his guts to evening, pull off such uh, an escape. Home, please. Plenty of good crooks in this country would consider Russell Cox to be the greatest, if that's the right word, bank robber this country's ever seen. You've got a fellow who breaks out of the most secure jail in the country and then spends 11 years on the run committing major crimes up and down the eastern seaboard. Many people in the same line of business as Cox um, have previously said that they regard him as the the arm robber's arm robber. He had this reputation. He was an extremely active and violent criminal. He had to be quarantined from the community. And the best way to do that was to put him in jail. I might add he was very good at getting out of jail, but that only created circumstances which put him back in jail for a longer period again. Society demands to be protected from these habitual criminals like Russell Cox. He was mad. Russell Cox was the only peace freak yoga, um, yoga loving peace freak hippie gunman and bank robber, alleged killer I've ever met. You know, the only thing he has out, out of place, a touch of curry and, and chilli pepper in the veg vegetables. Doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. Oh, he was into all this sort of touchy-feely, you know, um, save the world sh stuff, you know, or, you know. But he liked armed robberies and um, carrying guns. The, the aura around Cox, um, I think, first of all, stems from the Katingle escape. No one had done it before. No one ever did it again. Then he spent 11 years on, on the run. This was Australia's most wanted man. There's, there's really no doubt about that. Public enemy number one. With extraordinary physical strength, cunning, and sheer force of will, Russell Cox escaped from Katingle, the jail said to be inescapable. He was now on the run. After the break, we look at Russell Cox in his early years when he learned the perverse thrill of armed robbery. That was gas! That was the best fun I've ever had! You like that, did you? Yeah, hell yeah! It was unreal! My heart's beating out of my chest! Welcome back to Tough Nuts, Australia's hardest criminals, and Russell Cox, Australia's most wanted man. The man of many disguises was also a man of many names. Russell Cox was born Melville Peter Schnitzerling in Brisbane in 1949. His family nicknamed him Tim, and it was not until he started his life of crime that Schnitzerling took on the name of Russell Cox. He grew up in Balmain, an inner city suburb of Sydney. 
In the 1950s, Balmain was a tough working class suburb where men worked on the docks and often fell into crime. Cox first came to the attention of police at just nine years of age when he was charged with stealing a bicycle. From 